Hi, Algebra 1. This is the second day of review. This is at the top of your page. Looks like about the third page of your packet, which is says Chapter 7 at the top. So problem number one just has S. There's nothing to do on that one uh, for whatever reason it didn't print out. Number two, we get 3x squared minus 5x plus 4. And then we have a minus sign, x squared plus 5x plus 6. So I can drop the first set of parentheses, no problem. No signs change. The second one, I'm going to distribute the negative over everything. So I'm going to combine these like terms. And it looks like that for an answer. Done. Number three, I have negative 17x squared plus 2x plus 8 minus 4x squared minus 4x plus 3. So go ahead and drop the first set of parentheses because there's nothing to distribute. The second one, distribute the negative over the parentheses. Combine your like terms, so that's going to give you 13x squared plus 6x. Plus 5. Just combining like terms. Number 4, I can go ahead and just drop all the parentheses just looking at the problem. I don't have any subtraction signs, so all of the parentheses drop. And then we can start combining like terms. So that's going to give me 7x squared. This is going to give me minus 3x. And that's going to give me 12, 17. Number 5. We want to distribute 8x squared over the parentheses. So if I distribute here, 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 that's going to give me 8x to the fifth. Remember, you add the exponents when multiplying the bases. 8 times 2 is 16. x to the second, x to the second is x to the fourth, minus 48x to the third. So remember, you're adding the exponents. Number 6, you're just going to foil them together. So multiply the x's. That should be a 4. Sorry about that. And then distribute the 3 here. Those are like terms, so combine those together. Number 7. We're going to go ahead and foil these together. Hey, this is that one special case. Remember, they're the same, except you have one subtraction sign. So all you have to do is multiply the first and the last together, and that's it. If you wanted to multiply the, the middle, you'd get negative 6x and positive 6x, and they would cancel each other out. Number 8, we have 3x minus 1, 3x plus 4. So let's go ahead and multiply here and here. So that's 9x squared plus 12x minus 3x minus 4. Those are like terms. This problem's done. Problem number 9. Go ahead and multiply those together. That's going to give me 3x squared minus 4x plus 15x minus 20. Combine our like terms together, which are the middle terms. Number 10, I get x plus 1 and 4x plus 5. Distribute on top, that's going to give you 4x squared plus 5x. On bottom, you can get plus 4x plus 5. Combine like terms. Okay, let's go to the second page. Back side of it, looks like we have some rectangle problems. So problem number 11, we have this is our shape. So in order to find the perimeter, the top is 3x minus 2, the bottom has to be it. The, the left is x minus 7, the right has to be x minus 7. So 3x plus 3x is 6x, 7x, 8x. And then negative 7, negative 7 is negative 14 negative 16, negative 18. So that's what our perimeter is. And in order to find the area, you're going to multiply the two sides together. So multiply that here, here.
multiply here and here. So our area is going to be 3x squared minus 23x plus 14. So there's your area equation, your perimeter equations up above. Number 12, you have another rectangle, so you have 2x plus 1 and 3x plus 5. So if you know the left side's 2x plus 1, you know the right side's 2x plus 1. If you know the top is 3x plus 5, the bottom is 3x plus 5. In order to find the perimeter, add everything up. 2x plus 3x is 5x, 7x, 10x. 1 plus 5 is 6, 7, and 12. There's my perimeter. My area is 2x plus 1 and 3x plus 5. <clears throat> Double distribute, so that's going to give us 6x squared plus 10x. Double distribute here. Combine those like terms, so the area is 6x squared plus 13x plus, plus 5. Uh-oh, plus 5. It looks like it goofed up on me. <clears throat> so just in time to be done.